Hey, it's Joe with Jolie Farms in Ecuador. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, I'm still out here drinking coffee. That's my habits these days. So I um, wanted to talk to you folks now. We've done a video like this in the past where we kind of previewed our website. And I want to show it to you again because I know some people don't realize we have this website. And uh, so we're kind of re redoing it. The video we did on it before was a little rough on the sound, a little rough on the video and so we wanted to make it a little better quality. Lisa puts up all this stuff for free. It's on a Wix site, so it's a free website that we developed. And I should say Lisa developed this. And so, um, you know, it's it's not a fancy website, but it's again for free. And all the recipes on here are absolutely for free. So it's Lisa's recipes. Some of them are keto. Some of them you could call vegan or vegetarian. Some of them obviously have meat choices in them. Um, you can always leave some of those out if you wanted to and change ingredients. It also has great recipes for the salad dressings that she makes, a lot of her spice recipes, and these are just really good. She's perfected these over the years. One important aspect has to do with health. Now, neither one of us are health professionals in any way, um, but a long time ago, Lisa was studying for a naturopathic degree and so um, she came up with all of these different ointments and infusions and things. And we're very careful to tell you, you know, be careful what you do and consult all your own uh, choices with your doctor. Uh, but there are some things in here we found very, very helpful. And um, one is an anti-inflammatory uh, cream that she makes. And I'll say, I had a woman approach me at a farmer's market one time and say, you don't know who I am, do you? And I said, well, no, I don't, not really. She goes, well, I met you at a different farmer's market a year ago, and she said, I want to show you some pictures. She said, this is my friend's baby, and it had a condition called cradle cap, and it was just horrible to see in these pictures. And she said, doctors were suggesting all kinds of things, doing all kinds of things for this baby, was not helping. She said, I bought a jar of your cream and took it to my friend. She put it on the baby, and she said, this is two weeks after using your cream. And she showed me the pictures. The baby had hair grown back, looked great. She was crying relating this to me. She goes, you don't understand how much pain that baby was in. And your wife's cream made all of that difference. So I tell you this, not because we're selling the cream anymore, but because you can make your own and it can cause, uh, it can prevent a lot of problems that are caused by environment, that are caused by allergies, that are caused by uh, different chemicals that you get into, etc. These things will really help. So I hope you'll um, take a moment and look through that section and uh, acquaint yourself with it. And feel free to send us a message and suggest something that you've got. We're always open to suggestions. We may not always uh, be able to apply these suggestions, but sometimes we are and sometimes it's, it's easy to do in Ecuador. Sometimes it's not. Some of these ingredients are a little harder to find in Ecuador and you have to search for them. Uh, but we've managed to do that, and there's always Amazon. I hope you'll enjoy, and I hope you'll watch through this segment. Hey, so glad you're back. Wanted to show you our website here and just take you on a little tour through it. Some of you have already seen this um, in a previous video, but we wanted to redo it. Um, got a lot of new stuff in here. Want to make sure everybody knows about it. This is such a valuable free resource, and consider it yours. Submit your own recipes. We'll try them. We like them. We'll include this out here and give you credit for it. There has a search feature up here. So if you want to search a particular term or word, you can do that. And again, this is a Wix site builder. It's free. And so it's not real sophisticated, but it works very good. You can log in and join it. You can uh, email us through this. Here's all our connections up here for Facebook, Instagram, etc. So um, this is the home page, and from the home page you can jump right here to a little recipe section, or you can go to our videos. This actually takes you out to YouTube, to our YouTube channel. These are resources that we use, and these are people that we have done business with and had favorable experience, and so we put them on the list. Um, hopefully you'll have a favorable experience as well. Now you can access everything to the bar up here. And so I'm going to jump right into the recipes. So all of these recipes can be made vegan or vegetarian if that's what you like. If you want more meat, add more meat. 
So a lot of them are labeled keto, but they're not specifically keto. They can be changed to meet your needs. Green bean casserole is a big winner. Always works. The bacon wrapped asparagus for someone who's on keto is extremely good. Great little like fat bomb, if you will. Cauliflower Spanish rice is a popular one. Cauliflower tots. Um, the zucchini noodles is very popular. Lots of people like the zucchini noodles. Again, this could be vegan, vegetarian. Just depends on how you want to do it. Zucchini fritters, those are extremely good. And we always use coconut oil to cook those in, so they're pretty healthy. Um, cabbage casserole, that's an awesome one. Cauliflower with apple, I like that one a lot. This is my old standby, the butternut squash. Man, we just love it, love it, love it. Swiss chard and potatoes, veggie and rice, broccoli bites, creamy carrots. That's all good. Going to jump right over here to the soups and salads. These are sometimes overlooked, and I think this is a shame because these are awesome soups. Lisa's potato soup is hard to beat. I love, love, love her potato soup. Um, we make our own Cajun spice, by the way, to put in this. To spice it up as much as you like. Broccoli cauliflower soup's great. Zucchini soup is a big hit. Lots of people like it. Avocado soup. The Buddha bowl, the taco salad, those are all wonderful. So we'll go to our main dishes. Now keep in mind a lot of these are going to have meat. The Swiss chard enchiladas does not have meat, but you could add it if you wanted it. Um, love these Swiss chard enchiladas. We first had these at a Mexican restaurant in Texas called Blue Corn Harvest. And uh, they did a real nice job on them. And so we decided to start doing them. And uh, we kind of changed the recipe a little bit to meet our needs, but we love it, love it. Swiss chard tortilla dish, those are nice. Um, chicken ham ranch dish, oh boy, that's a good one. Chicken pasta. The chicken salad is a real winner. Um, if you wanna try this at your house, especially when you're having a get together, I think people are gonna be really happy with this chicken salad. If you're from the South, you know jambalaya, and uh, we love to eat our jambalaya. Put it in a taco or just, you know, eat it out of a bowl. This is an awesome, just a meal by itself or as an add-on. The burrito bowl is always good. Chicken and kale casserole is a good one. Stir fry pizza with cauliflower crust. I got to say, I didn't think I would like this cauliflower crust pizza, but it is wonderful. And again, this could be made vegan if you like it, um, but I love that pizza cauliflower crust. Cabbage rolls, those are real good. It's kind of a Polish um, recipe, if you would. Chicken salad, wonderful. Okay, so I want to jump over here to the breads and appetizers real quick. We don't eat a lot of bread, very little. But when Lisa wants to give me a treat, she makes this bread right here. It has no sugar added to it. The only sugar you're going to get is from the wheat itself. Um, there's no sugar. And since we use the apple cider vinegar, it makes this bread taste a lot like sourdough, and it reacts like sourdough. Get a really nice ear on this bread, and it has a good, you know, hard crust. So I, I just can't say enough great about it. It's a, it's a wonderful bread. If you like your sugar, I recommend these sweet rolls. They're kind of like a Hawaiian roll. Um, not that much sugar in them, only two tablespoons, but enough to make it interesting. Buttermilk biscuits. You gotta, gotta got to use the buttermilk with this, and they are awesome. Pancakes are wonderful. Everyone loves Lisa's cinnamon rolls. Okay, we'll jump into these keto appetizers. Again, could be converted to meet your dietary needs. Tuna avocado balls are really good. Pig shots. If you're on keto, this is a great little fat bomb to just pop one of these throughout the day and uh, keep your fat up. So, um, sweets, Lisa's known for all her baked goods. She makes some keto things here that are really good. Chocolate keto cake. I want to talk about the cheesecake. Because we have somebody who orders this once a week because they can't have flour and they can't have, you know, all these other things. They can't have sugar. So we use the stevia in this. This is a, a absolutely wonderful cheesecake. I can't say enough good things about this. I don't usually like stevia, but I love that cheesecake. If you want to turn it into a pumpkin cheesecake, here's how you do that. You add your one can of pumpkin puree, 
or you know puree a pumpkin yourself if you like. Makes a great cheesecake. The brownies are wonderful. Even I like them. The magic bars are great. Snickerdoodles, all your typical stuff here. Thin mints. These are great fast recipes. Give them all a try. Now I want to talk about the sauces and seasonings here. These are overlooked sometimes, and man, I gotta tell you, this is one of the most valuable things on the website, in my opinion. Don't buy those expensive grocery store um, you know, sauces and seasonings. You can make your own so easy. The Thai peanut sauce is to die for, and it is great on a kale salad, and uh, so I really recommend that. Green goddess dressing is great. Cilantro lime. The ranch dressing is absolutely my favorite. Italian dressing is good. Barbecue sauce, we use that quite a bit. Barbecue rub is right here. And I want to take you down to the spice blends real quick. This is the Cajun spice I mentioned. We make our own, we dehydrate our own peppers and onion and garlic and stuff. And so we keep this stuff on hand almost all the time. Here's a good taco seasoning right there. A jerk seasoning if you want to make some jerk chicken. Italian seasoning right there. Mediterranean all-purpose seasoning here. The pumpkin spi pie spice. You're going to love this pumpkin pie spice. This is a great, great recipe. Now, some of these things may be a little bit harder to find in Ecuador, but if you check, you can find them. If not, order it in on Amazon. The ranch seasoning we use constantly, and of course the apple pie spice. That's a big winner as well. All right. This is another very important part of the uh, website, the Natural Remedies. Let me start out here by saying Lisa and I are not medical professionals. Lisa has collected this stuff and worked on it over the years. She was studying to uh, get her naturopathic degree at one time. And um, I used to sell some of these remedies, as I mentioned, at the farmer's market. People raved about them. We're giving them to you here for absolutely free. So uh, we mentioned the anti-inflammatory. Ginger is just a wonderful, wonderful product. And we use this for bug bites, the healing oil. For headaches, um, we use that right there. So dental, make your own toothpaste. Why are you buying that expensive toothpaste full of fluoride? Use this stuff right here. It works extremely well. The mouthwash um, works real good. For teeth whitening, this is so simple. Um, everyone should be using this. Skin care is a scalp treatment, a mint apple toner, aloe moisturizer. Now, we've used neti pot solutions for years. We love this solution. Recently, we learned that we can add the liquid ivermectin, 10 drops, into that solution. And man, does it work good. Here's Lisa's testimony about it right here. It opens up your ear canals, your, right into your head, and it really, really helps with sinus and mucus problems. Now, many of you know that I have Epstein-Barr virus. That's something that you almost can't get rid of. It stays in your body forever. I had another outbreak recently of it. And doctors won't tell you this, but we have a doctor in Loja that suggested we try ivermectin. So Lisa did a whole bunch of research on it. And we're finding out, guess what? Epstein-Barr can be cured using ivermectin. Now, don't believe me, go research it yourself. I just finished up my 10-day course yesterday, feeling 100% better, and uh, I can testify this worked when nothing else did. So um, here's some studies that Lisa links down here at the bottom, so you can check it out for yourself. Um, the great thing about ivermectin, 10 years shelf life on the product, and guess what? This stuff has been used for over 40, 50 years. The, in Africa, they use this all the time for dengue fever and for malaria. Every Sunday, they take one ivermectin pill, just as a regular course. Now, they have the least amount of outbreaks during the pandemic of any country. So that's the only thing you can tie it to. And there's enough going on right now that... Um, I think this should be looked at a lot more carefully. And if you're not including this in your uh, regimen of protection, you might want to consider it. I'm not going to force anybody to think a certain way, but I think it's really worth looking at. 
and it sure made my life a lot better. Um, parasites are at the root cause of a lot of disease, and to go in and at least get rid of parasites once a year, ivermectin is extremely good for that. Um, but again, the Africans tend to take it every Sunday. So uh, just think you ought to give that a look at and consideration. So again, there's our resources. Our videos are up here. We have a little blog. If you have a particular recipe or something that you would like to share, um, please, you can email us on this. Here's our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And down here, you can email us without a problem. Um, so if you want to email us, send us a recipe. That would be great. We will try it out. We think it's worth considering. We'll go, we'll go ahead and plug it in here and give you the credit. Uh, we never put anything on here that we have not tried ourselves and that we have not thoroughly researched. So rest assured, if it's on here, it works. Or if it's on here and it's for eating, we like it. So um, hope you enjoy this short little uh, tour of our website. If you haven't been on this website in a while, you're going to see some new things. Hey, share this with somebody who needs to see it. Hope you have a wonderful day. Ciao for now.